Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin Carr, and in this video my family and I travel to the St. George area in Utah to enjoy a few family-friendly hikes. Throughout the video I'll give short descriptions of these hikes, and at the end I'll give some extra information as well. Hopefully you all enjoy the video and hit that subscribe button. The first hike of the trip was to the seasonal Gunlock Falls at Gunlock State Park. This is a short quarter mile trip that does cost $15 to walk in and visit the falls. hike start at the Anasazi Valley Trailhead and you stroll up the, I apologize if I butcher this name, the Tempai Poap Trail to visit some fantastic and interesting petroglyphs with amazing views all around you. The hike round trip to the petroglyphs is about two and a half miles with 330 feet of elevation gain. This area is mountain bike friendly so you can cruise around the trails that way if you'd like. Pioneer Park in St. George is a great place to explore for the whole family. There's a short but very tight slot canyon, small arches, sport climbing and bouldering on gritty sandstone. All the hikes and approaches to the climbs are all pretty short, probably within a mile of each other. The Anasazi Trail, looped with Red Reef East in the Red Cliffs Conservation Area, is a little over one mile with 114 feet of elevation gain. This trail leads to some prehistoric dinosaur tracks, and at the end of the trail, there are some well-protected ruins to enjoy.
Three Falls Trail outside of Hurricane Utah is a beautiful hike if you time it right with a little bit of snow melt. There are creek crossings and amazing waterfalls to be seen. There is some steep scrambling to get past the first waterfall and some boulder hopping after that. There's also some sport climbing in the area too if you're interested. On the way home from St. George, we decided to stop at Glen Canyon National Recreation Area to let Hazel out so she could stretch her legs a little bit from the long car ride home. It does cost $30 to get into this area, or if you have in America the beautiful pass, it's free. When we visited Glen Canyon at this time, the Perea River was flooding, so it was a pretty unique experience because the Colorado's blue and the Priya, it flows brown, so there was a collision of colors between the two rivers. 